Um, number one, hello to everyone here. Uh, obvious, for obvious reasons, we're all here. I'm going to address those, um, give my thoughts, give my sentiments, uh, and then I'll take questions. Uh, there's a reason I didn't do this on, you know, I know everyone was expecting me to go speak on my podcast. And um, quite frankly, I don't hide from anything. I own my mistakes. Uh, and to go sit on my podcast would be not taking questions and hiding from the issue at hand. And so I wanted to acknowledge that. And, you know, for those out there that thought that, um, you know, that, those were just your thoughts. But I wanted to do this first uh, before I just went and sat in front of a com computer screen and said whatever it was that I wanted to say. Um, so number one, uh, I was wrong for, for, for my actions um, that took place on Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, what's today, Saturday, Wednesday. Um, I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further. Uh, you know, with, with the event yesterday, uh, with the video leaking, um, there's a, there is a, a um, huge embarrassment that comes with that, not, not only for myself as, as, as I was the one that committed the action, the embarrassment that comes for me uh, is what it is and that's something that I have to deal with. But the embarrassment uh, that Jordan has to deal with and that this team has to deal with, that this organization has to deal with, but also uh, Jordan's family, you know, uh, his family saw that video. Um, his mother, his father saw that video. And quite frankly, if, if my mother saw that video, I know how my mother would feel. I know what her next react, I know what her reaction would be and I know what her next step would be. And so for that, I apologize to his mother and his father and you know his family, his friends uh, that care for him uh, because that is, a, that is a, a sense of, or a level of embarrassment that they have to deal with too. Um, I apologize to this organization you know, we, we, we just won a championship. Uh, in nine days, 10 days, there will be a ring ceremony. My family will be here, his family will be here. I'm sure they'll be here. And quite frankly, that's an elephant in the room. That's something that, uh, you know, it, it's weird, you know? And on, on a night where it should be um, celebration and love, and it still will be, um, but there is like this, this, this dark cloud in the room, and I caused that, you know. So I, I apologize to to his family uh, and just what they've had to deal with over the course of the last 24 to 48 hours, and I will do what I have to do to make that right. Uh, to my family, you know, the the things that they have they've had to deal with. I know, you know, my my wife is. Um, you know, she's getting comments like, he'll beat you at home and stuff like that, you know, as if, um, you know, that's the case. And so I apologize to my family as well for, for what they had to go through. And then most importantly, um, my brothers on this team who I've had apologize, who I've apologized to already. But um, <clears throat> for me, that is the task at hand, to, to rebuild um, trust in our locker room, um, to, to, pull everything back together as it need to be pulled together in order to compete and and defend a championship. And, and although that is the least of my worries right now, um, it has to stay at the forefront because most importantly, um, is everybody put the work in in order to compete for a common goal. And I can't allow myself to be the reason um, to, that, that that doesn't happen, you know? So for me, um, <clears throat> it, it is very important that, you know, I start the process of rebuilding trust, um, of rebuilding, I mean, I, I don't necessarily think brotherhood is gone, but 
you know, in, in a brotherhood sometimes that's splintered. And when that's splintered, you know, um, you have to pull that back together. And that is splintered right now. And it's important that I do the work um, to pull that back together. Now, you know, we're all here to do a job. We're all here to play basketball. And that's always going to be and will be the main thing. I think, you know, for, for myself um, and, and, and Jordan moving forward, uh, you know, that that is a different story. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's when you start speaking of personal relationships. And quite frankly, uh, we've had a very good personal relationship. He's a guy who I've tried to take under my wing since he got here, a guy who I've advocated for, and a, and a guy who um, I have – encouraged to have a voice and like keep your voice and like be true to you and stay true to you and so um that is on me to do the work to rebuild but on his time uh when when he if he ever wants to do that you know i think that is a, a personal choice for jordan um and i have to accept whatever comes with that um uh, as far as, you know, I've heard reports that, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's over a contract or him getting an extension or me getting an extension. Um, I can assure you that's, I don't, I don't count other people's pockets, number one. Um, and so that's, that's not something I would ever start doing. And the way I was raised, that, that is simply hating on another man's situation and, and, you, you, that's something that you just don't do, you know? And so uh, the one thing that I can assure you is that that had absolutely nothing to do with anything. Uh, I think for myself, uh, I was, you know, I am a very flawed human being. Um, and, you know, I, I think I personally know those flaws better than anyone. And uh, the work that I've done to correct those flaws, I think, has been tremendous, and yet there's still a very long way to go. I think that's a constant work in process. Uh, I am a constant work in process, and I'll continue to do that work. Um, I think the day that that took place, I was in a very, very, very bad space mentally, um, dealing with some things uh, in my personal life that that I, quite frankly, not certain that, um, you know, I, I can't sit here and say like, oh, you're dealing with some things in your personal life that that didn't shorten your temper, that that didn't, um, you know, that, that that didn't change your reaction uh, in, in moments. Like, you know, all those things are tied together. And I think that's where you get to see the human being side of us, you know, where if you are dealing with something, when you step on the court, it just doesn't go away. You know, that's the same brain, that's the same body that is dealing with something that's now stepping onto that court. And as a leader of this team, I needed to have a better feel for myself and just know and understand, like, um, where my wicks in were, was and, you know, what could possibly, what could possibly push me the wrong way. And quite frankly, I didn't handle that well, and I failed as a leader. And in turn, um, I failed as a man. I failed as a leader. And in turn, it's led to this. And so for me personally, um, I have to take what comes with that. I have to deal with that and, and, and continue to better myself as I will. Um, like I said before, rebuild the, rebuild the trust and relationships in this locker room because ultimately that is what mo what is most important to me um, and, and, and making sure that this team can come together and compete at the absolute highest level that we know we need to compete at to do what we're setting out to do. And that, that goal doesn't change, um, not for me, not for anyone. Uh, that goal will remain the same. That's been the goal around here. Um, for the last seven or eight years and that, that doesn't change now, you know, and so uh, I look forward to doing the work, um, like I said, as a leader, doing doing the work that it takes to make it right. And although it's never right, like the thing that happened, it happened. And so it's never right, but to right the ship. And, you know, that falls on me. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'll, I'll embrace that. It won't be an easy process, nor should it be, nor do I expect it to be. But I also... Um, Look forward to continuing to better myself and 
and and and my emotional state and how I deal with my emotions. I think you know one thing that I I lack is uh, is how to let emotions out. Um, you know, you know, I think you know growing up in Saginaw, Michigan, the way I grew up dealing with the things that you have to deal with, you learn to internalize uh, a bunch of things and. <clears throat> you know, without those things, without learning how to internalize, do I become who I am today to even have the the possibility of sitting in front of you? Um, probably not. You know, going through the upbringing that I went through, and, and you know, it shapes who you are. You know, but with that comes the good and the bad. You know, just like you know, for if you grow up, if you grow up in a household as such that my kids are growing up in. There are some issues that come with that. You know, may not be the same issues that I faced with my upbringing, but there are negatives and positives to everything. And so the positives that I can take away from growing up in Saginaw, Michigan, that got me here, there are also negatives to that. And you have to continue to work on those things and work at them. And, and that, for me, has been something that I've been doing. And that's something that I'll continue to do uh, to better myself um, as a person. And saying all of that, you know, I'm not one to make excuses. Um, I, I own up to my mistakes. I stand on my mistakes. And I stand on this one. And like I said, I will do everything that I can to make this right or to right the ship and um, to help this team, to help Jordan, his family, um, and, and, and move forward from there. And I'll take any questions that you may have. So, Dre, what exactly, like, went on in those moments that led to that altercation? Uh, well, we were in practice, and I'm not, you know, uh, I think things that happen in practice should stay in practice. Um, you know, quite frankly, to sit here and discuss what went on and what didn't uh, could possibly change opinions, and I'm not here to change an opinion. I'm here to uh, acknowledge my mistakes and what I did wrong. Um, and move forward from there. Uh, get my, you know, uh, do what I have to do to get this team back in the right space. When it's time to get this team back in the right space, uh, I'm going to take a a few days, or you know, I don't know how many days. Uh, it's, you know, um, but just take some time to myself. Uh, allow our team to start their healing process. Um, but take some time to myself and, you know, get deep in my thoughts and, um, you know, do things that I have to do to continue to work on me. And But I'm not going to discuss uh, what happened in that practice or any practice. Uh, what happens in our practices should stay in our practices, you know. Um, and, you know, that's why it's a disappointment that, you know, a video will get leaked. Uh, but in saying that, I'm, I'm not going to come to discuss uh, what actually happened or try to change any opinions. The opinions are the opinions, and, and, and that's just that, and everybody's entitled to that. I'm not here to change that. I'm here to admit my fault, admit my mistakes, and, and move forward. So I just want to kind of get, I guess, the punishment or whatever clear. You're you're leaving the team for just a little while right now. Yeah, I'm going to, um, you know, continue to stay away as I've been away. Um, and you know, continue to do work on myself as I always like to do. But also just to give guys space. You know, that's a um, it's a big deal. It's not like uh, you just kind of keep on pushing. And, you know, the reality is, is there is no right or wrong time, you know, to, you know, we're not going to walk in and say, you know what, the time is right now to continue on, you know, or, the time is like there will no be right there will be no right or wrong time and that's just that but in saying that uh you know i do want to give my team their space i want to give jordan some space uh and then also just take a few days and you know or or whatever that is and just continue to you know work on myself and and think about the things that i need to think about and you know uh Really, just take 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 some time and let 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 everything breathe. I, I wanted to. I guess this is kind of a two part question. What did you think of the fact that the video did leak? And then after, I'm sure you watched it. Just you know, watching yourself in that moment. Like, what did you think? Um, 
what did I think of the fact of the video leaking? If I'm being 100% honest, I thought it was, you know, uh, no no other video leaks from practice. You know, uh, uh, when we're working on our sets, they don't leak. You know, when we're, um, you know, when when I'm coaching everyone up, that doesn't leak. You know, so uh, I thought I thought it was that the video leaked. Um, and saying that, what did I think of myself in the moment? I watched the video 15 times, maybe more. Um, because when I watched the video, I'm looking at the video, and I'm like, yo, this looks awful. Like, this looks even worse than I thought it was. It's pathetic. You know, and then I had to take a step back, too, and realize that this video was actually released this way to look that way, you know? Um, for whoever released the video, I don't know who released the video. Um, I am very thankful to the Warriors organization for taking it as serious as they have and launching the investigation that they have, um, because quite frankly, they don't have to. You know, they're not they're not obligated to to launch an investigation um, for something that I did wrong. You know, they're they're not obligated to do that. So I appreciate. Uh, them taking that as serious as they have um, and are doing. But for whoever leaked the video, <clears throat> it did the same thing to me that it's intended to do to the world. Um, you know, it's an audioless video. Uh, it's a video that cuts to me walking right to him. You know, and so the video serves the purpose that it was supposed to serve. Um, and it had me in the same mind state of like, wow. This is terrible. This is awful. And by the way, it is terrible and it is awful. Like just because of the way the video is cut up and is not released with audio and all of those things, what I did was wrong. You know, so regardless of the video leaking or not, regardless of how the video was leaked um, with audio or without audio, I was wrong. And so I accept that um, and I will move forward with that. But in saying that, you asked my thoughts of what I thought of the video, and those are my thoughts. Draymond, you probably asked yourself a thousand questions in the last few days, but have you, for somebody to go to that extreme, usually, that, you know, you got to be taken there. Did, have you wondered how you got to that point? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty in tune with myself. Uh, I can, you know, I can, um, I can walk you through everything of how I got to that point. Uh, that doesn't make it right. And because it doesn't make it right, I won't. You know, uh, because for me, walking you through that uh is a sympathy tactic. And I'm not and I I'm not looking for sympathy. Um uh, nor am I in the, am I the person who needs sympathy. You know, if anyone um deserves some sympathy, it's Jordan, it's this team, you know, uh it's this organization, it's not me. You know, so I don't I don't need sympathy. I'm not looking for sympathy. And quite frankly, to try to walk someone through uh what got me there would would be trying to get you to understand my point of view and and trying to um trying to tell my side of the story and that's irrelevant because what I did was wrong, you know. Um regardless of what got me there or what didn't. As a human being, we make mistakes, and I made a huge mistake, and I own that. And so to try to get someone to understand my my point of view or I think it's unnecessary, it's not right, uh, it's, you know, it's not it's not right for this team. And so I'll, I'll just leave that where it is. Much is said about this team's winning culture and your role in that. What do you think this does to that? Nothing. Um, we're still, we're professionals. Uh, we have a job to do, and we're winners, and winners win. And so um, winners find a way to win. I have been a winner my entire life. I'm going to find a way to win. Now, that's from a winning standpoint. From a human being standpoint, from a personal standpoint, I have some things to fix, and I'm going to fix those things. I'm going to take a few days away because, um, you know, quite frankly, if I'm being honest, it's hard for me to walk up to Jordan right now, you know. Uh, and so 
like I said, I, I'll take some some time and you know work work through my things, allow him and this team to work through their things um, separate of me because there will be a time to work through those things with me, and I look forward to those times. Uh, but as far as winning goes, we've been through some to win at the level that we've won at. Like um, some of them public, but a lot more private. And this is no different. Um, it's different from the standpoint of my actions and what happened. But as far as winning goes, you go through things to win. And I'm disappointed that this is something that I created that we have to go through. Uh, and like I said, for that reason, I'll do all that I have to do to make it right. But this won't affect winning. Winners win. Winners find a way. And we'll win. Dr Draymond, you um, continually have said you have work to do. Are you getting help and are you dealing with like anger management issues or therapists or how, how are you going to work through this? Uh, <laughs> I think we all in life have anger management issues because we all have buttons that can be pushed. And so I am working on myself regardless. Um, I am working on um, Draymond Green is a constant work in process is a very flawed individual. And so um, I will continue to work on me as I always am and that won't change. Uh, that is, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And if you're not working to getting better, you can only get worse. And so for me, I'm always working to improve. I'm always working to improve, obviously, from a basketball perspective. But more importantly than that, I am always working to improve myself. And, um, you know, this is no anger management issue. Like, man, you just can't control yourself and you lash out and you, like, again, I know that, you know, um, the way the video that you saw is cut is, is, is as such to where I essentially walked into practice and did what I did. And I take that very seriously um, because hurt people hurt people. And I was in a, a very um, contentious space that morning of dealing with some things that's very near and dear to me. And I hurt someone because I was in a place of hurt. And for that, um, I've apologized. And, you know, you apologize with words, uh, but ultimately your actions show your apologies. And so uh, I've apologized with my words uh, to my team, like I said, to Jordan. And now I will allow my actions to show my apology moving forward. Uh, but in saying that, um, you know, you, like I said before, I have an issue with how to let my emotions out. And quite frankly, I like to keep my emotions in because I don't like to give people that. I don't like to give people the power over my emotions. Um, and so you internalize them. I know I do. Uh, in saying that, I'm, I, it's not something that I want to change because I like to keep my emotions to myself. But what I do want to change and what I do need to work on is how they end up coming out. And how do you let them out without them coming out in a way that ultimately you regret. And this is one that I sincerely regret, um, which there's not many things in life that I regret because I feel like... Uh, you know, regrets is essentially something that you feel you done wrong, and if you could have been different, if you could have done it differently, that um, things would be different. And so, for me personally, regrets I take them as lessons. Uh, but this one in particular, uh, s someone else has to deal with that. And so, because someone else has to deal with it, this is a regret, and. Um, 
you know, I'll continue to work on myself and, um, you know, take very seriously other things that I need to work on as a human being. But in saying that, uh, you know, as I said before, the number one thing I think I need to work on is how do you how do your emotions come out? That's that's a big one for me. It's been a big one my whole life. I think I've improved on it, but I got a long way to go. Jermon, you've kind of I guess been alluding to this, but I mean, you, your fire is something that this team sees as a positive attribute. There have been dust ups or stuff in the past, but this one, does it does this one just feel different than other you know? their arguments or fights that may have come up in the past? Uh, it feels different because, um, number one, number one, everything that's fresh feels different. You know, so when something is brand new, it'll always feel different. Um, number two, because someone else was affected. And so because someone else was affected, to me personally, it feels different. Uh, I think the thing, one of the things that make me happy in life uh, is making other people happy. It's, that's something that I enjoy, um, to see other people smile, to see someone doing well, to help someone do better. Um, I get a lot of joy out of that, hence the fact in winning my last three championships, I get more joy out of watching the guys who win it first, like their first one. I that brings me more joy than anything. Um, watching someone do, watching someone do well and succeed brings me more joy than my personal uh, successes. And so, from that standpoint, it's absolutely different because someone someone else was affected in a major way, and so that makes it different. Um, Ultimately, at some point with this team, my goal is and my job is to make sure that it is a bump in the road that we all get through. And, and that's the work that I am doing. Uh, that's the work that I'll continue to ramp up as see fit. You know, you don't just ramp that up right away uh, because that won't be fixed in a day. You know, it may not be fixed in a week. It may not be fixed in a month. And so as we move forward, I'll continue to ramp up that work that I'm doing on that front uh, as it's more tolerable. You know, when some, when things first happen, it's just not as tolerable uh, because you're still working through those initial emotions. You're still working through the initial reactions. You know, you're, you're still working through all of those things. So, um you know, that's that's where it differs. Uh, and, you know, however, like I said, it, it, that's where it differs. But my job as a leader, uh, my job as a winner, um, is to do all that I can to make it where in April, May, and June, that it was a bump in the road for this team that we got over and we rolled on our way. What do you mean that it, it, because it affected someone else, because couldn't you say that any time that there's an argument or a fight that someone is affected or is it just the way that Jordan is feeling about it or like why has this affected someone but other incidents haven't affected someone? Uh, I, Jordan's feels and definitely is most important. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure how he feels. Uh, that's not a bridge that we've really crossed yet, uh, nor should it be a bridge that we've really crossed yet. Um, <clears throat> and, and other things, uh, the, the way they affect people, I think words or arguments, uh, an argument requires two people, um, not just one. No one argues with themselves. And uh, and so I think words, uh, words has an effect for sure. Um, so I've continued to learn in my life, words definitely have an effect, but they do not have the same effect as actions. Either way, good or bad, i.e. an apology. Apologies are great. Um, apologies are accepted or not. 
But actions after the apology ultimately carries the most weight. And so that right there alone shows you that actions are more important than words. And so when you have something that is action-packed, if you will, it is different than just some words. And so that's why this is different. Drake. I know you said you're going to take some time away. Do you expect to play on the 18th? Um, yeah, I expect to play. Now, will I play? That's a totally different story. Um, and that's something that we will continue to figure out um, as we move forward and just feel through what's right. Like I said before, there is no right or wrong answer. You know, um, the right answer is, hey, man, you'll, you'll be away from the team going through the regular season. The right answer is you'll be away from the team for another day or two or three or not. You know, um, there is no right answer. Uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't think there's a wrong answer either. Um, but what the answer is is, what the answer is is to fill our way through this. Um, that's what this ultimately boils down to. And so uh, do I expect to play? I hope to play, you know. Um, it's the first day or the first real day as far as games go and things counting that matters on our mission and goal to repeat. So, yeah, I hope to. And, and – Yes, I do expect to, but in saying that, that's not something that's been decided. That's not something that's certain. That's something that we'll continue to work through over the days to come and and just try to fill our way through what's best for our team because ultimately that's what matters the most um, is this team. And, and, and we'll figure out and fill our way through what's best and we'll go from there. Draymond, this is kind of a two-part question, but um, first off, how do you think your apology Thursday was received, not only by Poole, but by the team? And secondly, what specific steps do you think you need to take to kind of start rebuilding that trust and reinsert yourself back into the team and be welcomed? Um, I think my apology was accepted uh, pretty well from the team. Uh, at least that's what I was told. Uh, as far as how it was accepted to, from Jordan, I'm not sure how it was accepted. I didn't get much from Jordan on Thursday, nor did I expect to. Um, you know, I, I, again, I want to give Jordan space. I think that's uh, the most important thing initially is to allow Jordan to work through his thoughts and not me try to um, persuade his thoughts one way or the other. Um, give contact, context one way or, or the other. Um, I think the only context he needs right now is his and what he feels. And, and, and you know, that will be affected um, by more ways than one. That'll be affected by what your friends say to you. That'll be affected by what your family say to you. That'll be affected by what you read in the media. That'll be affected a million ways. And he's more than... Um, he is more than due the time to work through that, whatever it is. Um, and so I didn't get much from Jordan. I didn't expect to get much from Jordan, nor did I try to get much from Jordan. Um, my goal on Thursday was to speak with my team, um, to stand on my behaviors, to admit where I went wrong, my faults, and to apologize to Jordan, and I did that. Um, you know, in such a space like that that's so brand new, I hope anyone wouldn't expect much from him. Uh, and if you if you did or would have, it's kind of the wrong thing and, and a little um, insensitive to how he may feel. And so I didn't go in looking for anything from Jordan, um, and that's kind of how that went. Uh, I wanted him to hear me acknowledge my faults and hear my apology, and that was that. Uh, you know, how that apology is accepted again is is based on actions. It's not just my words. Draymond, we've seen you have this, like, fun, good relationship with Jordan, and then obviously the incident happening. Could you clarify, like, how you feel about Jordan Poole? 
Oh, I love Jordan Poole. That's my guy. Um, you know, I like I said to Jordan, I will still ride for Jordan. I still advocate for Jordan. I will still do anything that I can to make Jordan's job easy, to make Jordan look good, to get him the things that he want out of basketball that I can help from a teammate's perspective. That's that. Uh, my feelings towards Jordan does not change. Uh, it's a reason Jordan's locker is next to mine. Uh, from day one, you know, and that has changed a little bit. That dynamic has changed a little bit. It's on me to make that right and get it back, you know, but as far as my feelings for Jordan goes, <laughs> um, you know, I'm the guy who supported Jordan when he was sent to the G League bubble when no one thought he had a chance. You know, I'm the guy calling him, hey, man, you should be doing this or good game, calling Weems. Hey, Weems, I just heard this. Is this true? Weems saying, yeah. Uh, all right, let me call Jordan and figure this out. You know, I, that's me. You know, um, that don't change. Uh, you know, at all. Love don't. My love is real. You know, love don't just go by the wayside. My love is there. You know, and my love ain't going nowhere. So I will continue to support him, help him where I can, um, lead him. Uh, and in saying that, like I said, I know leading comes with a responsibility that I that I drop the ball on, and and you have to you have to um, rebuild the trust in that. But if I see Jordan doing something wrong, I'm gonna help Jordan because that's the right thing to do. And if you don't care about Jordan, you don't help. You just watch him do it wrong. You know. So um, my love for Jordan don't change one bit. Continue to move forward, continue to do all I can to help him. And as far as, like I said, as far as a personal relationship goes, we will figure that out as we go, as he's ready, on his terms, or not. You know, um, that is solely up to Jordan. But as far as my love for Jordan, um, that don't change one bit. When we talked to Steph, he mentioned that between you two, there's a foundation of honesty, and he said he was disappointed. What kind of things have, have you two been talking about as leaders on this team in the aftermath of this punch? Uh, we've just, we've talked about a lot. Um, we've talked quite a bit uh, just on what's right, what feels right, what, what may feel wrong, uh, what needs to be done, um, you know, where to move from here, how to move from here, uh, you know, and just kind of working through. Uh, what we need to work through as leaders of this team. Um, of You know, I am the guy who keeps the pulse on this team. I always have. Uh, right now, you know, uh, and, and, and being teammates and then being leaders, you, you pick each other up. And so right now I need him to pick me up, and he's doing that. And so he's the guy who's trying to keep the pulse on the team. And – you know, that is a different situation. You know, that's a different thing because that's always been my role. You know, right now um, I have put myself and this team in a position where I can't quite keep that right now. And that's okay and it's understandable. And, and like I said, I'll do what I have to do to fix that. But right now it's him. And so um, kind of just following his guidance on that, you know, uh, seeing where it's at, feeling our way through, um, seeing how different guys feel. You know, guys feel w one way one day, and then something's releasing, you can feel totally different, you know. Uh, the, all of those things affects everything, you know. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're working through it, and we'll continue to work through it. But as far as, um, you know, the pulse and stuff goes, that's something that he's doing right now. And... You know, he's relaying that to me. We're discussing through it. I'm giving my thoughts. He's giving his thoughts. And, you know, uh, we'll continue to work through what we need to work through.